Hello, this is Dr. David Richardson, also known as the Cataract Coach Online. Today I would actually like to show you a full cataract surgery in real time. You'll notice that the length of this video is just under 14 minutes, and that is the length of this surgery. Uh, this surgery was not rushed. This video has not been edited. It is uh, from beginning to end. So let me go, go ahead and discuss what I'm doing here. You just saw me making two small one millimeter incisions in the cornea at what we call the limbus. That's so that I can gain access to the inside of the eye. Next, I place a viscoelastic solution. That's a special gel that's used to keep the eye formed and to protect the cornea. Uh, the inside cells of the cornea are the ones that keep it clear, so it's important to protect them. Now I'm just placing a mark on the cornea itself. I will use that mark later to allow me to size the capsulorexis tear. I'll speak about that. Right now I'm creating an incision in the temporal aspect or the side of the cornea. That incision is only 2.2 millimeters in width. This now is the most stressful part of the surgery for most surgeons especially resident surgeons learning how to do cataract surgery. This involves making a tear in the capsule. The capsule is a transparent membrane that is only um, a few millionths of a meter thick. It's very hard to see here, but uh, I think you can get the idea that I'm tearing a circle uh, in this capsule. We call this a continuous curvilinear capsular excess. And I use uh, special forceps that are made for it. I find that the forceps give me more control, although some surgeons do just use what's called a bent needle cystitome, which is essentially a needle with a bend on the end of it. I'm actually using the mark that I made in the cornea earlier to guide me. And the reason for that is, is not that I need to know what a circle looks like, but that the size of the circle is important. Uh, the capsule rex is in, I've just removed the, uh, the capsule that, uh, that I tore there. The, the capsule rex should be just a little bit smaller than the diameter of the optic of the lens that's going to be put in the eye. Now what I'm doing is called hydrodissection. I create a fluid wave around the cataract um, and beneath the capsular edge. And what this does is it frees up the cataract. Um, I also do what's called a hydrodilineation, which creates a, a layer between the uh, inner uh, dense part of the cataract and the fluffier outer uh, layer of the cataract. So it's, it's kind of like a creates a, a cream puff, except that the inside is dense instead of puffy. Next will be the actual removal of the cataract, or phagoemulsification as we call it. So take a look at part two of this four-part series on cataract surgery and how it's done.